I was created for such a time as this. It brings to mind the strength that God is giving to me right now. In the beginning, when this whole Corona thing started, I was a nervous wreck. I just didn't know what to expect. Um, I didn't know where this virus was. I didn't, you know, nobody knew anything about it. Um, I was just a nervous wreck. But I feel like um, God is really helping me to get a grip. <laughs> and the one thing that I have been, that he has been um, telling me is, you know, he's in control, that God is in control. And there's been so many little things that have happened that show me that he is in control, that you don't have to worry, that he knew all of this was coming. He knew that I would be here during this time when this was, when, you know, this would happen. And, um, you know, he's telling me, I got this. So no matter how crazy it gets, I got it. Right now, I think it's really important for uh, women to be ministered to because some of us are at home without children and some of us are home with children. Um, but it doesn't matter because of this, the place that, um, you know, a woman has in her home, um, the cooking, the cleaning, you really kind of help to keep to pull things together, which is another reason why we have to get it together. <laughs> but um, because of that, uh, women, we need to be encouraging each other, you know, to help each other to be strong. Wow, <laughs> it seems like, and I know we, well, it's been a year because we haven't had a chance to, to have it this year. I can't think of any one particular men, Women's Day, but I know that I always feel like we are being taken care of, that we are loved, um, that we mean something, that we're special. You know, the women's ministry does a really good job of letting all the women know how special they are. Um, probably most likely my family. Um, and yeah, my family, all of them. I was going to say my, you know, my grandchildren. I know I, I really feel like they are influenced by my relationship with God, but I know just my relationship that I've had with my children um, and what God has done, how he's worked through me to raise my children is helping my grandchildren and future grandchildren to come. <laughs> Back to the fear, because um, I think a lot of people are very afraid. Um, they're, un, you know, the uncertainty of everything, and you know, I would just like to to just share with with people. I had to share with a friend last night who was who called me about, um, you know, about Ruth Bader Ginsburg, her passing, and she was very upset over it. And she's a believer. She's a believer. You know, she. I'm not talking. I'm. I'm. I'm talking to the choir when I talk to her. But um, I was shocked, and you know, I kept thinking, "Oh God, what's going to happen now?" But again, the Lord is still whispering in my ear, "I have this." You know, 
I mean, you look in the Bible and look at some of the impossible things that people went through where it seemed like everything was impossible. God always came through. He keeps his promises and he's, I know he's going to keep his promise. We will get through this. The, the pandemic, the political part of this, all of it, we will all get through it. And, um, you know, I'm grateful. I mean, I wish we didn't have to go through any of this, uh, especially the, the sickness and the death. But at the same time, it's amazing how, you know, the, the devil always has plans to, to disrupt everything, but it's, God shines through in all of this, you know, families, are are being together more than they used to be. We're we're able to be at home and 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 just stop and, and reflect, just think, you know, have more time. And I think before the end of time, before Christ comes, we we need that. We're going to need that. We need this time to look inward and hopefully when all this is over we'll be able to um you know the lord will will keep this in our remembrance you know for this generation this is what we've had to go through and um we'll be able to tell the next generation you know how we made it through like my parents went through the depression you know the world war ii every generation has something to go through this is what we're going through and um you know the lord is gonna uh, he's he's gonna get us all through it he's gonna you know lead us through so that we can you know we can be ready when he comes